All right, we can start the room tour here. Got two hooks for stuff. Lights with no card key requirement. This is on Liberty of the Seas, by the way. And more lights with no card key. Here is the restroom. We'll just start there. And we have shower with the sliding doors. And we've got some amenities there. Clothesline's already set up. Again, not a whole lot of clearance with the back wall, but not as bad as, as uh, Navigator was. So I think that there's probably gonna be enough airflow to be able to dry things in there, which is good. And we have towel rack, we have towels. We have these open. Oh, they do open, they open this way. Why well, have the knobs on that when it doesn't open that direction? I'm not entirely sure. But okay, so, and then this one does not open. There is a shaver outlet up here. And then we've got the rest of the restroom as you would expect. Okay, and we have four lovely hooks on the inside of the door, in addition to the two hooks on the outside of the door. This is the closet. We have a fairly small safe not something that'll fit a laptop, but we have all these shelves and it is the full length. You also can fold these down if you want to have more space for, you know, short items. And in the meantime, that will keep them from rattling. Your life jackets are actually down here. This okay, so this is a room with a promenade view which is nice, so it's kind of like an ocean view in price. Well, it's more like an interior in price, but it's bigger than an interior. Now, over here, you have some more storage. Got some shelves, decent sized TV, and drawers, four drawers. These are not um, the soft clothes kind, but they still, they don't slam, so that's good. This one has apparently an adjoining room, but it is locked because I do not know the people on the other side. More shelves here. We also have, okay, there's a, there's a um, end table. I can almost speak, but there is no power to speak of, nor is there any power on the light, but you do have like a little reading light here. Sometimes they hide power outlets there. You do not see one. This is actually lightweight but alas, there is nothing behind it as far as power either. So, those are your options for that. There is also a full length mirror on this little corner here, which is quite nice. Good size bed. It's nice that they round the corners here so you don't you know, jam your feet on them if they were actually not squared off. And we have, let's see. So there's more storage here. They're very, very shallow, but you know, they are here. And there's two of them. There's one on either side of this big mirror. And then this is the power here. So you've got a European, uh, the data and tele telephone is I'm sure left over from way back when. And over here, you've got two US. And that gives you an idea what the power is in this cabin because that is your only option. And here is the fridge or cooler. They don't really call them fridges because, and it's really not very cool at all. So that's why they don't call them refrigerators. If you're lucky, they call them a chiller, but that's not very chilly. So that's what you got here. <laughs> and we have another end table. We have this couch and we have this great little sort of reading nook and then it overlooks the promenade. So you can see all the fun things that are happening there. It's pretty good. Okay, so this is cabin 7311, interior promenade room.